What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 10 pools you won't believe exist. Now we've done like water slides and roller coasters and a few other things, but when researching those videos we found a lot of insane pools too, so I thought you guys would really love to see that. With that said, let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on this video, and if we can get that, we'll start doing the You Won't Believe Exist series every week again. But with that said, let's get right into it. Number 10. So most people either want to go somewhere beautiful or somewhere dangerous when they go on vacation, but this is basically the perfect mix of both. The Devil's Pool is right on the edge of the Victoria Falls, which is literally the highest waterfall in the world if you didn't know. I'm not even joking, you literally have to pay to go, but you can't go by yourself for safety reasons. However, being honest, it's worth making the trip anyway. Just from this video alone, we could tell it's one of the best views in the whole world, and there's nothing like it anywhere else on the planet. Number 9 Now nature has created some pretty crazy places, but there's no beating humans when it comes to making absolutely insane places to visit. I mean Nemo 33 is the deepest indoor swimming pool for diving in the history of the world, in fact it's so deep that it even has fake caves built in halfway down. So get ready for this, according to the people who built it, it's 113 feet deep, but the good news is the water is still pretty warm, so you don't need like a dry suit to go swimming down that far. The bad news is, well, it's also used for professional divers and even underwater film shoots, so good luck booking a slot within the next couple months. The bad news is, well, it's also used for professional divers and even underwater film shoots, so good luck booking a slot within the next couple months. Number 8 So if you go to a luxury hotel and spend a bunch of money on it, obviously you're going to want a luxury pool to go with it, and this one is pretty much as over the top as you're going to get. Marina Bay Sands Sky Park has the world's longest elevated swimming pool, and it's literally the height of luxury. It has like a vanishing edge and an insanely cool view, but if you still need convincing, it gets even better. Literally, the moment you get out of the water, you're surrounded by rooftop celebrity chefs and exclusive nightclubs. Oh, and did I mention there's even a freaking observatory deck with 360 views of the Singapore skyline. That is if you can afford it. Number 7 I mean it's kind of common knowledge that most people like their privacy, but do you think you'd ever go this far? So to give a short explanation, a group of architects made this house with a pool on the roof in the Greek islands, and I've gotta be honest, the reason why is pretty crazy. So the whole house is either hidden under the pool or built into the rock, and the pool itself acts like a huge mirror, so the whole house is basically invisible. With that reasoning aside, the pool also has a more normal job, since it's absolutely huge and perfect for swimming, especially because there's nothing else to do for miles. Number 6 Now this pool is mostly pretty normal, but their way of helping guests get around is pretty unique. So there's like a splash pool, a lazy river, and some other standard stuff in the Grand Whaley pool, but they also have a water elevator. Now I know what you're thinking, it totally doesn't sound like a real thing, but it's actually really cool and not hard to grasp at all. Basically in the activity pool, guests just have to hang on to a big metal column, and as the water rises, so do they. I mean honestly though, I think the stairs would actually be quicker, but who cares to walk upstairs when you can literally just float your way to your destination?
Number five. So if you were looking for a place to go on a super relaxing retreat, you probably wouldn't think of Utah, but it turns out they got something pretty cool to offer. The Homestead Resort has a 70 foot sinkhole with naturally heated water, so the water's warm all year round. Now I know what you're thinking, a limestone cave might not be the most traditional place to go swimming, but it pretty much does everything, like you could even snorkel or scuba dive as close to the bottom as you dare. Not only that, but for a cave it's way more pretty than you probably expect, so there's no reason not to go. Number four. Okay, so Bali is already one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and to be honest, this might be one of the most gorgeous places in it. Like, you can easily tell there aren't any crazy gimmicks, because the Hanging Gardens Resort is completely surrounded by forests, so chilling in the infinity pool honestly makes you feel like you're right there in the trees. I mean, if you're looking to relax, it's pretty much the best place for you, and if that pool is too high, there are loads of smaller ones a bit closer to the ground. With all that said, though, if you're afraid of heights or if you got vertigo, this is so not the pool for you. Number three. Okay, I'll admit it, we're kind of cheating here because this one isn't a real pool, but it's basically impossible to tell the difference. So this pool is actually an illusion created by an artist for a museum a few years back, but it's insanely convincing. Like even once you see the people breathing and talking on the floor of the pool, it still feels like they're underwater and you can even see the surface of the water above them. Like it's so clever that I'm just dying to know how they made it look so real, but at the same time, I'm gonna leave the magic live for you guys to figure out in the comments below. Do you think there's like a really thin sheet of glass or what? I mean, I bet one of you are smart enough to figure it out. Number two. Okay, if there's one thing cooler than a natural pool, it's a natural pool right next to an ancient city. Iquil in Mexico was a sacred site for the Mayans that they used for relaxation, but a much more creepy fact is they also used it for ritual services. Nowadays, there are no rituals there, just small waterfalls and vines all the way down, but you have to share the water with a huge black catfish that still live there. So yeah, if you can handle the fish and being 85 feet below ground level, it's actually pretty beautiful, as long as you can stop yourself from thinking about the horrifying Mayan rituals you're swimming right above. Number one. Fun fact of the day, people have always gone to swimming pools to help their skin, but normally they bathe in like mud or clay. I mean, even when things get a bit more crazy, it's normally like wine or coffee people decide to swim around in because that's supposed to help their skin the most. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a beer pool before, especially not one that's supposed to act like a sauna. With that said, people still seem to love swimming in it, even if it's mostly too warm or bitter to drink, but if you need another excuse to try it, apparently it leaves your skin velvety soft. Wir befinden uns hier im Bierschwimmbad und hier in der Brauerei Starkenberg, im Schloss Starkenberg in Tarenz in Tirol. Zu so dieser Raum war vor 15 Jahren noch Teil der Brauerei. 
Man hat die Brauerei dann umgebaut und da hatte unsere Chefin die Idee, wir könnten hier ein Bierbad machen. In den Gärbottichen der Brauerei bieten wir unseren Gästen jetzt ein Bierschwimmbad an. Also das Erste, was man wahrnimmt, ist natürlich der Biergeruch. Der sticht natürlich aus hier. Und sind im Wasser ist eigentlich ganz normal wie in einer Sauna, in einer Therme. And there's a video on the top 10 pools you won't believe exist. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever you upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.